Welcome back, guys, to another episode of a new season from the OKAD Youth Sports Report. I'm your host, Nader. My name is Sam. And today we have some exciting football news or soccer, but <laughs> let's get into it. The first thing I would like to mention is that the World Cup 2026 is happening here in Toronto. And the U.S. And the U.S. And I think that's really exciting, especially for here, because th- this is the first time that it's happening here. Mm-hmm. And, uh, like, the first thing I noticed, the first thing, like, that peaked in my head was, like, prices around, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, the stadium is going to be skyrocketed. Like, the, like it's going to be so pricey. Yeah, the BMO sta- stadium, it's not that big compared to, like, other, like, World Cups. Like yeah, other it's not that big. It's not that big. Right. It's, like, like it's not bad. Right, but compared to like Qatar and it's another like, level. <laughs> <that's>, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be good for the. It's gonna be good for the city, to be honest. Yeah, it's gonna be good for the city because like like whoever didn't come to Canada before, mm-hmm. uh, and they're coming to watch the FIFA World Cup in tw- in twenty twenty six, this will be a great time to see just to walk around Toronto and just see them like just to see that for themselves. Yeah, just go to Nathan Phillips Square, CN <laughs> CN Tower, and that's <laughs> it. <laughs> that's it. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm. To be honest, I'm not feeling it. Like, yeah. it's gonna be in like new, like one of the few of the games are gonna be in like New Jersey, and yeah, Toronto. it's gonna be cross like cross stadium. Like, yeah. like it's gonna be weird. So it's not uh, in one. It's not in one. It's not in one country. It's gonna. So it's gonna be harder for like fans. I yeah, came from different <laughs> countries to just go from country to country. It's gonna be too, so expensive. Yeah. So that's like my issue with it. It's hard for like people to get like visas for the for like the U.S. and Canada anyway. Yeah. So imagine the amount of people that are applying, and just like the money that's gonna go into it. It's just gonna yeah, be hard for the gonna... fans, for like the teams' fans. But do you think Canada is gonna reduce like... prices for them? No, no like oh, oh, no, uh, like I mean maybe reduce. I mean, I don't think like, so. who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Like, do you think Canada is gonna do better? Like, do better this year? I'm sorry, not this year, but the World Cup. Uh, I don't think so. They don't. Really? They don't have the. They don't have the talent. Dude, no. as uh, like, I feel like they could. Like, they could do it. It's like they need to execute. That's it. They just need to work <laughs> on the execution. <laughs> Everything was fine. They had eight chances to score. Right. Yeah, they, man, they, they missed right. all the chances. They missed, it. they missed every single one. So if they can just focus on just like, okay, like w- I'll work on the defense, like like uh, the striking and everything, like, you know, like everything that they've done. It's right not now. just that, it's the talent. They don't have talent. Who, who do you have on that team? Except Who's Al- uh, Alfonso Davies. Yeah, Alfonso Davies. Okay, that's but the only like, guy. He's like the only guy. Yeah, yeah. in like two years, what, what, how old is he going to be? Like, he's going to yeah, be 30 or something? Yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> you have yeah, other teams. True. You have that's like... True. Don't forget Brazil. Neymar is gonna be old. He's probably just gonna. He's gonna probably gonna play, but he's not gonna be like the same Neymar. He's been injured anyway. Yeah. But I have like these teams have Argentina coming back. Messi's gonna be old. He's probably. I don't think he's gonna play, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. You have Spain. You have you have so many teams. Bro. It's it, no no. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, tough. dude, I just hope like at least win one game. <laughs> I think they like, can. Like group stages, they probably can. Yeah. As long as like yo, if they win one or two games, I'll be so happy. Like I'll be so happy. Canadian right? guy right here, <laughs> <laughs> right? Cause yeah. yo, like if they do another eight chances and no score, I'm just gonna. Oh, they're, like they're. my TV is just gonna, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna be snapped in half. <laughs> like, but yeah, it's gonna be. Like, hopefully, you can attend like a few games. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, that's what uh, that's what I'm praying for as well. Like, mm-hmm. and since it's happening here, we can actually go watch it. But the pricing is what I'm worried about. Yeah, it's definitely right. gonna be expensive. It might be like two, three hundred dollars a ticket. I hope not. Yeah. Right? Because like probably more. I think it's gonna be more. Really? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Depends on the game as well, but it's gonna be more. I think. Yeah. Since we're like talking about football, let's talk about uh, the Afcon. African oh, yeah. Cup of Nations. So, you know, I'm Egyptian. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, our national team, in the group stages, we, like, tied every game. Tied ga- tie game every game. Oh, and we still passed. That's oh, yeah. never happened. That's our team. Wait. We passed. But then, we lost. <laughs> 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 no, we lost. Uh, what's their name? Cape Verde, I believe. Or no, we lost to Congo. Oh, Congo? In penalties. 
Yeah. Bro, just for us to like even reach the, like the, the, the just to get out of the group stages was a miracle, bro. We were so ass. Mm. Like I had no faith in my team. I'm sorry, but I had no faith in my team. <laughs> The, yeah. the coaching we, we have we have no coaching yeah. just every few years we get a new coach this new like non-egyptian coach everyone's like oh he's not egyptian he's gonna he's gonna help us <laughs> oh, it never happens we only won like the afghan when we had an egyptian coach yo we won five in a row or four in a row when we had an egyptian coach and now every few years oh no, let's get a non-egyptian coach to coach this team that's yeah. gonna help us okay you got a non-egyptian coach what happened? You still have no talent. There's no talent. Yeah. There's literally, you have Muhammad Salah. He's 31 or 32, and he was injured. And everyone's when he's in, he's on the field, everyone's just like hoping for him to do something. He gets a lot of attention from the defense, so a lot of people can be like open, but no one's passing to them because there's no talent. There's no like, they don't have an identity. That that's the oh, that's oh, the man. the main issue with this team, compared to the the other teams that have won like last decade ago. There, there was an identity. There was like true, like people cared about putting that jersey on. Now, no one cares. They're just like, oh, whatever, let's go. Oh, we're in a different country. Uh, yeah. No, it's, it's, Dude. it was hard to watch. It's just, yeah. yeah. Like, like I, feel, like I totally understand how, uh, like, the new coach thing is, right? Because like back in India, they're trying to put more money into football now. Yeah. Right. They got a new coach who's not Indian. Yeah. Right. And uh, this guy, like, apparently, I'm not sure, who, like, like who the name is for this coach, but I've heard that he's really good. Mm -hmm. Right. So he could. That's what they well, all say. They I mean, all that's say what that. they all say. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like he claims that yeah, we could take India to like places this time, you know, saying so, like, like we could actually make it to the final. Yeah. And I was like, what, dude. First of all, our team isn't even that stacked. Like, our team is probably, like, the lowest of the low, right? I, I, like, in terms of, like, like uh, star rating, probably, like, a star and a half. Like, like yeah. one and a half. Maybe two stars if, if I'm feeling if I'm feeling good. The thing with Egypt like is you have, you have players that are playing overseas. Mo Salah, he's playing with Liverpool. Like yeah. You have uh, Marmouche. He's, uh, with, uh, like... Uh, Bundesliga in Germany. You have another guy. What, what is that? What's his name? Is he's playing in the Premier League? Premier League. Yeah. We have we have a few like good players, in, but it's just that there's no identity. There's the coaching is is bad. He, like he takes out good players and puts out bad players in the end of. He put out a player that didn't play a single match in the in the group stages, and he put him against Congo. The, like the when you have to like advance to the next stage in the group. What? Yeah, he didn't. He, he had like f five games to try him out. Yeah. And he decided no, let's put him out in the most important the most game, important. <laughs> in the 80th minute. The yeah. guy, the ball ca came right in front of his feet. He kicked the he kicked the the ground, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how nervous he was. He kicked the ground. Oh man. And yeah. So it, it was, like I feel that. It's too. hard. It's hard because like yeah. Egypt, we're not we're, we're bro. We have like s the most team that like. Like the, we've won the most like Afghans in Egypt in like Africa. Uh, we yeah. won like six or seven in history, and like four of them were like four in a row back in like 2006 to two, 2009 or something. Yeah, we won like four in a row or three in a row. We were like crazy good. We had the talent. Yeah. we had the coach. We had everything. Now it's like everyone's <laughs> just like, oh, we're yeah. getting paid. Uh, no one cares. Like they don't. They don't care about like putting the jersey on. Like back then. <laughs> Like in the early 2000s, people cared about putting, oh, the Egyptian jersey on. There was like this pride to it that came with it. Now they're just like, ah. Uh, yeah, like I feel that. Uh, like not for soccer for India, but for uh, cricket. Cricket? Yeah, because there were some times where like the team just didn't do as good. Like the finals just happened, like the Cricket World Cup finals, mm -hmm. right? And we lost to Australia, Yeah. right? But even then, bro, like I'm actually pissed off at the audience. Like the fans, <laughs> the Indian fans, like, actually, right? Even though we lost, we had no sportsmanship. Yeah. And I was actually disappointed. Why well, they threw, right? threw stuff at the... No, no, no. Like, like, as soon as Australia won, they stayed dead silent. Oh. Right? No clapping, no nothing. You just got up and left. I mean, right? Yeah. They didn't even applaud for Australia. Right? Not even a single applaud. Like, but I was but like... you kind of see why. Like, they're just... Yeah, saying, I mean, like... They're pissed at their team, so that... Like, yeah, I mean, like, I understand that, like... It's just like, yeah, your team lost, right? Yeah. But like... Probably yeah. parking was crazy, though. They wanted to leave early, get out of parking. <laughs> get out of parking, <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Yeah, but like, this was... But the but the match was taken 
in like New Delhi, India or some shit. I don't yeah. even know where it was, to be honest. But I think it was in India, mm-hmm. right? So like the Indian team specifically was under a lot of stress because everybody yeah. was everybody in the stadium was cheering India. Yeah. Right? And then they lost. I was like... Isn't that oh, the no. stadium with like 60,000 people or something? I think it was more than that. I think it was 100,000. Oh, wow. Crazy. Yeah. Like for cricket in India, it's like the biggest freaking thing. Biggest thing, yeah. Right? For sure. And, uh, but okay, no, but like back to football. Dude, oh. the only car- the only guy that we have that I can say is like our best, uh, pr- like, uh, a player, he's like the Indian version of Ronaldo, they say. <laughs> That's what they say, right? A Chetri, that's his name. Uh, like, I've seen a few highlights from him. He's really good. Mm-hmm. He's honestly really good, right? If anybody is going to take us places, it's going to be him. But again, it's only one player, mm-hmm. right? And, and even that, like, the chemistry isn't really there for the teammates. Yeah. Which sucks. But uh, they're, but they are putting more money into uh, football back, like, back there. And hopefully, within the next f- few years... Um, Mm-hmm. You know, they actually do something, yeah. Like, yeah, win something. Like, I hope, I hope, but yeah. we'll see, we'll see. And plus, Ch- Ch3 is getting old too. Like, I think he has another two years in him, and like, that's it. Mm-hmm. We want to talk about uh, Messi and Ronaldo. Oh, <laughs> yes, yeah, Messi and Ronaldo. You're going to add, to sprinkle something into the debate. If you can, like, go back and put this in the, in the other episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, El Nostr, Ronaldo's team, they played the Inter Miami yeah. in a friendly in, uh, back in Riyadh. And uh, Al Nasr beat Inter Miami 6 0. Yeah. Ronaldo wasn't yeah. playing. Messi was playing, though. Messi he came off the bench, but he was playing. Yeah. So people like to talk about the talent between the MLS and the Saudi League. Okay, Ronaldo <laughs> wasn't playing, and Messi came off the bench. What happened? 6 <laughs> 0. <laughs> yeah, that's actually mind blowing to me. Six I'm zero. actually like, I understand, like, before the Saudi team, mm-hmm. right? Like, they weren't like, like great, great. Right? Like, like they were decent, but they weren't like they were good. But like they, were they were they didn't have like international talent as yeah. they do now. After like as Ronaldo now, came, a yeah. bunch yeah. of other players came. You have Neymar and other teams, Benzema. Yeah. Uh, like um, they they're kind of out of their prime, but they're still like good players, and they're yeah. attracting other players to come. Yeah. But mm-hmm. yeah, uh, it was it was fun to watch. Six yeah. zero, it's crazy, <laughs> dude. I'm I'm just in sh- like six zero. Like how can Messi let that? Ha- how can he let that slide, bro? They're probably taller than him. <laughs> <laughs> Messi being like a three foot four. Like, well, why are you roasting your guy? He's your guy. Stand yeah, yeah. behind him. Bro. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. A next game, I hope uh, Messi takes it up. But like. I actually didn't want to watch the game, but mm. I, did he have, like, a good playtime, or was it only for, like... I think he played, like, 30 minutes or something. You know what? That's okay. <laughs> I was saying, it was, I it was, was like, slide. the Saudi talent versus the MLS talent, so we had, like, a yeah. fair thing to, like, judge to like judge the talent between each two. Yeah. So, like, Saudi is better. Uh, talent-wise, <laughs> they're better yeah. than the MLS. Yeah. How are we doing on time? Good? You want to do the outro now? Okay. Uh, so that's been it, guys, for the sports report uh, for this week. It's been your host, Sam. Nether. We'll see you guys next week. Peace.